What up, Laker Nation? You're with your boy Kareem. How you guys doing? Um, man, this 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 shit getting out of hand, man. It's getting out of hand. I want to uh, talk to the people real quick. I want to definitely talk to the people. So I'm talking to you know a lot of guys. When they see me, a lot of guys like to talk to sports with me, right? They see me, yo, Doc, what you think about this? What you think about that? You know, people like to talk sports with me, which is cool. I, I like talking sports, whatever, right? So I'm on the block. I'm talking to the uh, to the young couple young guys. They we talk about sports, talk about the game last night, just talk about sports in general. Then um, one particular young guy was like, "Yo, um, Zion, Zion is leaving. Zion leaving New Orleans." Um, he said, Zion leaving New Orleans, Luca leaving Dallas and, and all this. I said, Luca not leaving. He said, yeah, Luca and them, they, they, they always like, yeah, he Luca leaving. He don't want to be there. Um, Dallas not winning. Nobody going there and stuff like that. Nobody going to New Orleans. Um, Zion uh, family don't want him in New Orleans. So I'm thinking they just, just saying this stuff. Oh, I saw it on, on uh it was on ESPN. Um, Zion family don't want him there and all that. This, that, and the third with the woo. He should leave. I said, why do you think he should leave? Yeah, because they not winning. Nobody want to go there. Now, these young kids, these kids are like 16 years old and things like that. So, we just talking and stuff like that. So, one one kid, like I said, they all talking. One kid, he's nice. He's good in basketball. But, you know, he's short. So it, it could be a little tough, but he's he's real good. He played school ball, high school ball. Um, he, he real good, but he's short. He's like five, five seven, you know. But he's nice though. But still, but he like yeah. If I'm lying, Zion, I leave. So I'm I took his what he's saying a little more adept because he played ball and he looking to go to college. He gonna get some um office maybe division two or something but he gonna go to school play school books he good he, he 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 doing his numbers he gonna get recruited to go to college and things like that so but his mentality he's saying he'll leave nobody won't go there and this that and this the problem i'm having right i said to say this man espn and and all you 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 uh sports writers and stuff like that y'all is ruining these kids y'all ruin these kids here it is these kids come from the ghetto and now I'm not going to say all kids but this period now these, you you playing the game for free like I done got hurt I played the game I done got hurt a few times playing this game for free these kids playing the game for free then you going then they're going to get in position to make millions and millions of dollars where they could change their family grandkids and stuff they possibly can do this and it's like a, a slap in the face, like entitlement. You know, you don't want to be there. Like, like you got God bless you with a talent, you little gifted, whatever. But that's dead wrong, man. I don't like it. So what I did. So when they saying this, so you know what I did. I didn't hear it. This the, the first time I heard it was through them. So I stepped away. This is not too long ago. So I stepped away. And I looked at, um, start looking at, I'm, I'm seeing this, it was on ESPN. So I, mean, I heard Colin um, Cowher and um, Chris Boussard. So this is really a story. I thought they were just, just saying this for their needs. It, it bothered me. It bothered me. Because what reason Zion, like his family and stuff, like it comes off as ungrateful. You, now Zion grew up in what, South Carolina. It's not like he grew up in, a, in, in regardless, it don't matter where you grew up at. But it's not like he's in a big city and he used to being in a big city and things like that. But it's wrong. It's wrong on levels. He's been in the league like, what, two years? Like, what you expect to win a championship or go to playoffs in two years? Yo, y'all rebuilding. You rebuilding. And then last year was tough because the pandemic. So, like, come on. I, I don't like it. it. It's bad. It's bad. And. We need to do better as peoples, man. We need to do better because you're teaching these kids that, oh, to run away from situations. That's what you're teaching them. Oh, they ain't going to win there. Go somewhere else. Like, like, come on, it's sports. At the end of the day, it's sports. It's a game. We all love this game. 
We play this game, and that's that. You get millions of dollars. You're traveling, always traveling. Like, come on, I don't like that. I don't like all that, oh, he should leave, this, that. And you're putting this narrative in these kids' head, head that when things get rough and things don't go your way, it's time to go. And these kids, all of them was in green with that. It was like four or five of them. They all in greens with that. Like, no, Doc, I'm telling you, you know, he should leave. Why stay there? You ain't going to never win a ring and all this stuff there. The Knicks go to Knicks, Brooklyn, and Lakers and all this stuff there, man. Like, it's wrong, man. It's wrong. It's wrong. And there's a lot going on in this world. Some real shit that goes on in this world that, need, you know, and, and like I said, the whole thing with this new generation is a mentality thing. It's a mentality. And then, like I said, I don't like the the fact that like guys like Stephen A. Smith, for instance, right? You got like all these job openings. And and which is cool, I, I get some of it. But at the end of the day, I don't be going gun ho, oh, this coach should get it because he to get this coach a position because he's black. He should get this position because he's black. And this that a third. Okay, cool, like, it's all right, but I think it's more serious issues and, and, and that need to be pushed more so than that. Like, the guys who have the voices, like when, uh, like, they be like, oh, LeBron spoke up because this coach is black. Oh, he, oh, this and that, like, whoever. I just think it's wrong because it's issues in the streets. Like, it's only celebrities only speak up when a cop do something to a, a, a black man. But black men, we kill each other like crazy out there. Like crazy. See, these guys not living it. I, I'm, I'm out here, I'm living it. I'm seeing this and it bothers me. Like it's one kid I didn't even know, but my family member I said, know this kid. Kid died for no reason. Got killed for no reason. And it's happening all the time shootings everywhere you can't even have my the kids out my niece got shot in her her ankle a straight bullet it, it just, it's just out the it's it's off the chain it's not right i think that celebrities basketball players they need to uh focus their energy on you know the the, the killings black on black crime all this killing these guys we killing each other like crazy that's where the focus need to be at. You know, I don't give a damn about, oh, this guy need to get the coaching position because he's black. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't care about that. Because at the end of the day, even if he's assistant coach, he's still getting money. If it was just black coach, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. And this is that. If you look at it, more black coaches is getting getting um jobs now. I don't really care about that. I'm not even, that's not even my concern. And I think that. It shouldn't be guys like Stephen A. Smith, LeBron, and them. Yeah, they could say on it, but Stephen A. He 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 ODs with it. Like I I ain't gonna get. It's a lot that I can go like details. With, I see what he do, but they need to. All everybody need to step up and be like, we tired of these gangs. We tired of these gangs. We tired of the back on black on black killing. It's only you hear the athletes and the celebrities when a cop do something. And like I said, I've been been out here for years. I never, I'm be honest, I don't feel threatened. This me speaking. And I got pulled, I get pulled over all the time. Not all the time, but I get pulled over, I'm in my car. I don't feel like I'm gonna lose my life. I don't. But when I'm in a club and the vibes and, and something feel a little airy, I be more worried or when I see dudes and I'm in, in a cookout anywhere. And when there's a bunch of uh, you know, people out, you know, just chilling, partying, whatever. And I'm looking and I, I seeing like, you know, little vibes and stuff. I'd be a little more on point and thinking something could happen then more so than a cop pulled me over. That don't happen as often. People getting killed left and right in every city. Gangs, people for no reason. Straight bullets. Look what happened in, in, in Miami. Look what happened in Miami where three guys of a mass went and shot 20-something people. And I, I think two girls got killed. 20 something people, that wasn't even a target. A girl got killed. Look how many babies get killed. Straight bullets. Mom, my mom was out uh, a couple years ago and and, and, and she felt the, uh, a bullet that's out there shooting. She wants to go play her numbers. Like that's more important 
then then the coaches they always want oh the, the black coaches you yeah, ain't I don't give a fuck about that you can hire I don't care we it's, it's some black coaches in the league it's, they got a lot of black assistant coaches oh it's not fair this guy I don't care about that these athletes and and, and, and the mentality they they doing this shit for the wrong reasons they fucking these kids heads up thinking oh he been in the league he need to leave so now with the kids it's a this entitlement now the ones who do play basketball you fucking they head up where you saying okay things getting rough oh he should leave now he got a quitting mentality and, and and he feel oh he's getting this 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 uh owner and 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 he getting paid millions of dollars to play basketball because they lost oh now he should cry and, and leave that's what you're putting in these kids' heads. And also, you're not, nobody's speaking up about the black-on-black -black crime. They're not. They're not. They're not speaking on no black-on-black -black crime at all. They're not going around to having LeBron James going to these these, these centers. Not, I'm, I'm not saying just LeBron James. People, period. Jay-Z, whoever. All these people, they not speaking on like, yo, guys. Now, one time you hear people like, yo, y'all need to stop that. Stop the killing. Stop the gangs. This stuff needs to stop. You don't hear none of that. But when it comes to police, it, it, it's a big thing. Yeah, the police here to protect. But come on. these I'm talking about innocent people. I'm not even talking about people who have beef. I'm talking about innocent people getting caught up in, in, in shit. Because these guys, they come out and they wait till it's crowded. They wait till cookouts and stuff. And they see a person on the wait there. And there's kids and shit out there to open fire on like a madman. Look how many kids. I can, I can, I can go for days with this. So I say that to say this, I know it went from one thing and I'm kind of jumping on different topics, but it started because I see the mentality these kids has. And, and so that's the same mentality. People, it's a, like a, a thing where it's all right for the black on black crime to continue. People getting killed left and right. But it's not, it's not acceptable when the police do it. It's cool to you getting millions of dollars you playing it basketball game, but you want to because you lost, and somehow your, your team ain't win. You want to say, okay, you want to leave. Piss a bitch. Oh, I want to leave. His family member to I leave. Y'all poor. This is not you. Not you. Don't even playing ball. What your family member want to leave for? He getting paid millions of dollars. Zion mad. What the fuck is he mad about? I'm mad, motherfucker. Fuck is the Zion mad about? What the fuck he gotta be mad about? He running, he's 20 no more, he's 20, 20 years old. Ain't been through near the shit I've been through. This facts. He ain't been through nowhere near the shit I've been through. He ain't take near the losses I've been through. I, 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 got, I got a rack of friends that got killed. I can show y'all pictures where there's 11 guys in the picture and there may be only four, three or four people left. That's a lie. I have family members and stuff got killed. You know what I'm saying? I've been through jail and shit like that. He mad. What the fuck he mad mad for? He mad. He upset. He not happy. What the fuck he not to be happy for? And he needs you to tell these kids that shit. He's not happy. Fuck you. Why, why he not happy? He should be happy. He getting millions of dollars playing a game he loved. On TV famous. And he, 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 he in position not only he can make money off the court also. That's a bad thing. For you, you, you teaching these kids, these kids out here in, in, in these streets, and they trying to make it, or people in general trying to make it, he's not happy. His family members don't want him there. He's not happy. What the fuck you not happy about? What the fuck you not happy about? That, that shit pissing me off because, like I said, the kids came to me, and they sitting there, they're all in agreement that he should leave. He only been in the league, he, he, what well, he's entitled to. He's been in the league a couple years. And now that, he he been hurt a lot of times. He said, stay hurt. He's not all that. He got holes in his game. Like, come on. Same shit like Ben Simmons. These guys getting all this money. Ben Simmons getting made. Can't even, can't even make a fucking free throw. Can't even make a fucking free throw. And he feel tired and getting mad about something. Be mad at yourself. All us fans and stuff. We People getting up, going to work, struggling. People have to do scans for PPEB loans because they broke and shit like that. They see opportunity to get money. Now they all going to jail for PPE loans and different things like that. People fucked up. People fucked up. And then now they're ducking bullets every fucking day. 
Like I said, my mom went to the store. She felt fucking shit going to like that. My niece got hit with a fucking bullet in her, her leg. Motherfucker shooting wild. You know what I'm saying? He fucking, he mad. He not happy. What the fuck you not happy about? You ain't getting, you ain't going to funerals. You not going to no funerals and shit. You going to funerals with motherfucker, they old motherfucker, your family member, grandma and them, they old and they sick and they die. We go to funeral motherfucking kill. People getting killed, young motherfuckers. People we know all the time. I'm robbed by the city or I'm seeing shit with candles and shit all the time. Not just me, everybody who 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 live in this shit. He ain't dealing with that shit. He not happy. We the, the, it's, 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 it's their responsibility. And, and, and that's what it get me mad because what they need to do, they need to conduct themselves right where people be appreciative of this shit. He should be showing people that it's appreciative, it's an honor to be in the NBA. It's an honor. I don't give a fuck if I'm playing in Utah. I don't give a fuck if I'm playing in Cleveland. It doesn't matter. That's to just be honored and, and, and show the kids it's a great thing to be in the NBA. It's a great thing to be in the NBA. I'm mad. I'm upset. I want to leave. What? Like, for what? You ain't going through no real shit. Like, stop it. You getting millions of dollars. Like, like, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You can change. Look, 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 look at basketball. Let's just speak on LeBron James. Look at basketball, how great this game been for him. Yes, he's talented, but, you know, he got the height. He's been blessed with the height and everything, whatever. LeBron James, not only he became rich and stuff, he was able to put his friends in position. Maverick Carter is a, is a manager. He's managing different people. He's LeBron James' manager. He's managing different people. He got TV shows. He's a millionaire. The, the Randy Mims, I forgot what he do, but he's a millionaire. Uh, LeBron, other friend, uh, Rich Paul. He's a super agent. He don't need to ask LeBron. LeBron put them. That's a blessing what LeBron was able to do. By him being talented, he was able to put his friends in position. And now with they, now by they all being millionaires, or them guys, his friends being millionaires, they can pay it forward and put other people in position. That's what it's about. Now they millionaires, they family members. Now they able to help them. That's what it's about. So does it matter if you playing in Cleveland, Minnesota, or, or New Orleans, or different places, Utah? Does it matter at the end of the day? You 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 playing ball for a couple for a couple hours? This is something you love. You playing for free from the time you five six years old, falling, getting hurt, breaking your leg, and whatever you doing, and getting not nothing out of it, getting nothing. This shit piss me off. I ain't go hard on these kids like that, you know. But I was just like. And I see it was a lost call. They feel what they feel. You know what I'm saying? Good kids. I like the kids. Good kids. Good kids. I like them. Good kids. But at the same time, they misguided. And that's the same way how people misguided. So if they don't... Gang members not going to tell them that it's not cool to be in gangs. So now they listen to these rap videos and all that. To them gangs, my brothers and stuff like that, you know, they see they all ride behind each other. Oh, this guy come a rapper. They don't hear LeBron, Jay Z, and I hate to keep saying LeBron, but anybody, the Stephen A. Smith, they be like, fuck that. I know this is a sports show and this, that, and the third, but the black on black crime need to stop, man. The killer need to stop. They focus too much on to jump on a bandwagon, walking on stage. I'm tired of this. The cop keep Cops keep killing black men and all this stuff there. Yeah, I don't, it's not right. But it's more dangerous with that. Like I said, I can pull the all time because, oh, maybe I ain't throw a signal and stuff like that. I never felt threatened. The cop, I never felt, I, I never felt when I got pulled over, damn, they might kill me. I ain't never felt that way. I'm going to be honest. I never felt that way. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you just have to, we just have to educate people how to move. When they pull you over, that's what they do, how to teach people. Don't argue with them. Don't argue with them. It, it's ways you can get around it. I'm not saying they didn't do some stuff and some people, I'm not saying people deserve it, but for the most part, they say something, 
this go okay cool license registration stand there this, for the most part this this listen to what they say for the most part and I think for the most part you got a great chance of getting up out of there or whatever but the, some people have been tragic situations I understand that and it is wrong but it's still wrong with like I said the danger of a motherfucker shit that's happening cause now you know what let me tell you this right nice day outside of New York City right now after I get off this and go back I'm back on, on the block chilling hanging out God forbid who to say shit can happen but oh he just did a live how many times y'all heard that this person just did a live this person just was online this shit happens like that or they start shooting I can come back but yo they were just shooting yo a friend of mine just got killed that fast this shit happens like that and it be most of the time it be over bullshit a lot, not, lot of shit now with this new generation cause all these a lot of these new generations are on drugs on these pills they, they you know they that lean all this stuff there all that's that's cool now everything is cool doing these things these things cool doing so now it's no pushback Jay Z Jay Z is like God to a lot of people the Migos I would just listen to the Migos and, and, and Charlamagne and them they said Jay Z is the ultimate stamp because Jay Z said the Migos album is dope and the Migos are so happy. So now these guys got millions of dollars too. They not on Jay Z level, but they got millions of dollars. They were so happy. And Charlamagne and, and DJ Envy said, "Yo, Jay Z said it. Isn't that the ultimate stand? Like they look at him, Jay Z and Beyonce is like God. That's the ultimate stand. Why are they not speaking on the black on black crime? Jay Z from Brooklyn, Beyonce from Houston. Why are these people not speaking on that? Why they all these people?" All of people who rappers, singers, uh, basketball players, why are they all not going hard and make it make people feel so bad that gangs not cool? Now gangs is the the new shit. Like it's like it's like even like LeBron be in his rap like gang gang. What up gang? Like I I I, I he say this. I, I hate to, not just saying LeBron, but this what people say to each other. They not in gangs, but it, it's it's cool to say. It's like a thing now. I heard him. Yo, what up, gang? What up, gang? Like they, that's how they greet each other. He may say it to AD. Yo, what up, gang? Yo, what up? Now, they not. It's not a gang sign, but even when they they uh, do the um, handshakes, all NBA players they do this handshake. They doing that. It's it's still that came from gangs, and they said, what up, gang? That so it 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 seems cool. So the kids see it's not a big deal. They see LeBron do handshakes. You know, people make up their own handshake, but it came from, originated from the gangs. People don't care about that. So my thing is, for the kids, we need to stop this bullshit. They don't win. All y'all do black, they, they, Stephen A. Smith want to act like, oh, I'm pro-black. Mark Jackson need a job. Chauncey Book need a job. Oh, I don't know how, like, I don't like it. Because he tried to make it look like, oh, only the black coaches is good coaches. White coaches are not good coaches. Oh, black guys need to be GMs. Oh, the white guys, look what they did. No. If, a, if someone want to hire, they can hire who they want to hire. And there's a lot of black coaches in the league now. So don't 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 push that narrative like, oh, the black people not getting shown no love. There is. There is. There's a lot of black coaches. And, and you had some that didn't do well. Elton Brand, he was a GM and he made horrible choices. So we're not going to do that. Focus on the real shit. Stop being on TV soon. Something don't get done. Oh, yeah, I don't blame Dame Dollar. It's time for Dame to leave. It's time. He been loyal to Portland so long. Nobody don't want to go to Portland. You pushing that narrative, nobody don't want to go to Portland. You're not telling people, hey, they got a good team. You're only there. You traveling through the whole season. You don't have to live in Portland. You got all summer. You got money. Mind you, your career, you got, let's say, for the 15 years. Let's say the average person's career is 15 years, right? So you got 15 years of, let's say you just, just, just move in. But you can build a house or live wherever you want to live, spend the big money on, on that city you want to live in, right? If you, if maybe the city you're from or wherever city you want to live in. You say, okay, I'm spend 10 million on this house. But you don't want to live in Portland, but hey, 
I could spend five hundred thousand on this house. Five hundred thousand dollars, you get a nice house in Portland. But you're not hardly there because you, during the season you're doing this all back and forth during the season. And then if you don't want to be in, okay, let's say you out of it out the playoffs by May. So you got the rest of May, June, July, August, September to live wherever you want to live at in that city. Then you go back to camp in October. That's what you need to be telling um, people. Oh, who wants to go to Portland? Who want to live? In, you don't have to live in Portland. You don't have to live in Portland. You can live anywhere. You're constantly moving around anyway. Them guys don't be in their city no more than three days anyway, for the most part. Most teams, they barely live longer than three days. The most they may be there is a week. And they may have like a, a stretch of home game, three three games at home. That may be the most. They may be in they, they that particular city for a week. That's it. Like stop pushing this narrative. Oh, nobody want to go to Cleveland. Who wants to live in Cleveland? Oh, it's boring out there. You constantly traveling all the time. Like stop it. Tell people the truth. You got these people being ungrateful. I hate ungrateful motherfuckers. I hate ungrateful people. Right now, you could put me, if I'm making millions of dollars, if I had a son that was in the NBA or things like that, I'd tell him, whatever he played, play, man. If you, if it's a, a particular reason, don't be because, oh, because you know, if you ain't the coach or something or general manager or it just, you know, but don't, don't just jump on the bandwagon with this. You know, but I'm going to cut this. I hope this message hit people. Stuff like this y'all need to share because it, it's bad, man. They're killing our kids, man. And they're pushing false narrative out there, man. You need to be grateful that you're in the NBA. Fuck is you mad about. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and come on. Let's just do right, man. Let's do right.